Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from our WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you can see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. In today's Bricks Builder tutorial, we are going to be designing product feature boxes for your site. You see this format a lot on review sites, such as this one. This design would be an excellent addition to your review site, a page where you rank or give a visual summary of the products you've reviewed. For today's tutorial, we are going to design a page with several product comparison boxes to compare WordPress page builders. Okay, let's get started. First things first, let's get to the page where you'll be adding your product. Once you're on the pages, you have the option to either create a new page or select an existing one. This flexibility allows you to integrate the grid into your current layout or start from scratch. To begin, add a new section to your page. This will serve as the container for your product grid. Next, you'll need to adjust the layout to add 20 pixels of padding on each side of the container. This padding ensures that your content isn't cramped and has some breathing room. Click on the container to start adding elements inside it. The container is your primary workspace for the product grid. Within the container, add four blocks. These blocks will hold the following elements, logo, list, rating, and price. This structure helps keep your content organized and easy to manage. Return to the container settings, go to the style tab, and then to layout. Here you'll add another 20 pixels of padding to maintain consistent spacing. Navigate to the content tab, click display, and select grid. This setting transforms your container into a grid layout, making it easier to align your elements neatly. In the grid template column section, add the following code. This CSS function creates a grid with four equal columns, ensuring each element has equal space. Now let's add the specific elements to each column of the grid. Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash the like button. It will really help out this channel and these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. Add the logo element to the first column. This is where your product's logo will be displayed. In the second column, add an icon list element. This can be used to showcase key features or benefits of the product. Add a star rating element to the third column. Ratings help build trust and provide quick insights into the product's quality. In the fourth column, add a basic text or heading element to display the price. For example, this format clearly shows the pricing details. Return to the first column to center align the logo. Do the same for the elements in the second, third, and fourth columns to ensure uniform alignment. Change the basic text element to a heading element for the price. This enhances visibility and emphasis on the pricing. Add a background color to the section to make your product grid stand out. This helps in visually separating the product grid from other content on the page. If you have multiple products to display, duplicate the section. This keeps the layout consistent across different products. Below the pricing, add a button element. Customize the button settings to fit your design preferences. For each product, add a link to the button. Go to the button settings in the left sidebar. Select the link type. Choose external URL and paste the link. Repeat this for each product's button. Save your work as a draft. This allows you to preview the layout before making it live. Check how the layout looks on the desktop and also on mobile devices to ensure it's mobile responsive. Adjust and modify the mobile version if necessary to provide a seamless experience across all devices. By following these steps, you'll create an attractive, functional product display grid that enhances user experience and potentially increases conversions. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, these videos take a lot of time, so if you do appreciate the content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so we can reach more people. Uh, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, leave in the section below and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.